Seven Hartford's number one for hip hop and R&B. We are celebrating our 20th anniversary today on Hot 937. It's incredible. It's been 20 years. And one of our artists that have really helped to make the station what it is, is Jadakiss. Yeah. And of course, the locks as a whole. We have Jadakiss here with us today. How are you there, sir? What's up, sis? Congratulations. You know, uh, 93.7 is one of my and my brothers. I've been one of our pillars in the game that always held us down. Every project we release, every uh, show we've done out there, y'all always supported y'all. You know, we we became family over the years. I just want to say congratulations, and we appreciate y'all. I was um, looking up some old footage. Me and Michi have been digging, you know, digging in crates. I know. But, you know, digging up some old footage. And I found an interview that I did with you three in 2008 at our Jingle Jam. And it also <laughs> featured T.I. That show had T.I. there. T-Pain, Busta Rhymes, Slim of 112 was there, too. Uh, but I got to actually talk to the three of you guys backstage. And everybody, it was crazy because uh, Kendall, of course, put it together, our friend Kendall. And honestly like we got you know he's putting it together and he was like you're gonna get all three of them and everybody was like oh my god you're gonna talk to all three of the locks right <laughs> and and i was like you know so where i wasn't nervous because i had already interviewed you guys before separately right you styles yeah. i like so many people got me so nervous before this interview and i just was watching it this morning i was like wow i remember trying to be so calm and cool while talking to you three but i was scared <laughs> to death that's <laughs> Uh, no, you always held it down. I, we, you, you must have kept your composure because we didn't, we didn't notice that at all. Okay, well, well thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. And then, I, and then I'm going to tell you something else. Okay, about that day. Okay. Um, so when we were doing the interview, I remember bringing up that you guys were having some issues with um, another rapper at the time, and um, that you kind of like shut down the question. I'll never forget this, Jada Kiss, right? So. <laughs> I was like, you know, because I mean, anytime we've ever done interviews, we have always gotten very personal, I feel like, you know, and um, but sometimes I, I would be uh, like afraid that I would have upset you guys. So you kind of shut the question down. And I was like, at the time, like, OK, OK. But then I saw you at the club that night and I, I just kept thinking the whole night, like, oh, my God, I think Jadakiss is mad at me <laughs> the whole night. Yeah. I was worried about it the whole night, Jadakiss. Never mad at you. You know that. I love you. I could never be mad at you. <laughs> I was just doing my, I was just doing my artist due diligence. Oh, so you kind of you know have a, you kind of have a bad connection. I'm sorry. What did you say? I was just doing my artist due diligence. I wasn't mad at you. I could never be mad at you. Okay. All right. Because uh, I was pretty worried about it the whole night. What nah, is your, you... what is your favorite memory of coming out to Connecticut? All of them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've had such a great time. I mean, I wrote down certain things like Club Blue. We've been together a few times. I remember you hosting a night at Club Blue while laying on the couch at Club Blue. <laughs> you were literally laying on the couch, chilling, but your voice is so powerful and you're so energetic that you didn't even have to get up. You're just chilling. Your feet were up on the couch. I remember that. Um, also, the Webster Theater, when you guys, you guys just came a couple of years ago to the Webster Theater, the locks, and um, what a, a, an amazing show that was. And I, Little C's was backstage, and it was great. I told you, whenever, whenever, whenever y'all are on our itinerary, we know it's going to be a great show. It's going to be good energy. It's going to be love in the building. So, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also, Michi brought this up today when we went to your studio in Yonkers and we did an interview. Oh, yeah. That was dope. Yeah, that was that was. And again, I felt like uh, I was even though I knew you guys so well, I felt like, oh, my God, I'm totally like here in their personal space and I'm going to do this yeah. interview with them. And again, <laughs> I was highly nervous. I was very nervous talking to you guys. I don't know why. You crazy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was a, that was just a super dope night for me just because I think I was like super fresh. I was just coming off the street team type vibes and 
it was just dope to just be there to just watch y'all process and stuff like that. Even even the fact that y'all kicked us out the studio, I was like, damn, we, we got kicked out by the locks. Like, this is fire. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is dope. Well, Jaden, because you're like, yeah, so we have to actually work now, so... <laughs> Like that was a good night. We we was trying to chill all night at your studio. That's for sure. Um, I gotta then, come back because we got a new one. You know, you all bought that building, so we had to move D Block Studios, which was a, like a sad time because we was there for like 17, 18 years. Mm. But we just got a new one, better, bigger, and better. So when y'all get the time, you gotta come down and do a new interview in a new studio. I would absolutely love that. That would be so yeah. great. That would be awesome. We gotta set that up. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to bring up one other memory of um, you guys. I was in Danbury one night and I was hoping Styles would be on the call, but I know he's traveling. But um, the memory of me and Styles, the one that sticks out the most in my mind is I saw him out in Danbury and I had just left like a Jim Jones show and I knew Styles was in Danbury. Someone told me and I literally drove up on him and I was like, had I was recording him, right? and um out my car because like that was when I was trying to do like you know more like controversial type interviews get my name out there and stuff right which I'm not too interested in anymore but anyway um and Styles <laughs> I'm not Jada Kiss I'm not and um so I drove up and Styles says to me he goes yo Jenny and I go what he goes why are you recording me I go oh because I'm trying to get some footage he goes don't do that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and I go, what do you mean? He goes, do not roll up on people and just be recording them and not ask their permission. Like he went off on me and I was like, oh, and I go, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it's like, yeah, those are some of the things that you need to learn. <laughs> so, after that, so after that, I never did that again. I, I seriously never did anything like that again to an artist. Like I make sure like anyone that's around me, they ask, you know, I'm always like, Beach, make sure it's okay. Because See, honestly, that was more, that wasn't about him. That was more him concerned about you. You know what I mean? Doing that to another that, you know, oh. that, that's, that's how you know we love. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Well, yeah, those are some of my favorite memories of dealing with you guys and being with around you guys. And, um, and of course, Sheik also came to one of my birthday parties one year out in New Haven and hosted it and performed. You guys have been a blessing uh, to have, you know, associated with our radio station. You really yeah, are. I mean, absolutely. musically, I mean, you, you know, we can't get enough of the locks. We just, we love you guys so incredibly much musically, but the fact that every time you guys have been in Connecticut, you have made us feel like family. There's not a time that we've ever seen or dealt with the three of you where you guys acted like you were superstars, even though you are uh, incredibly famous and incredible. You are family. Y'all are family. You got to know that. And even, you know, over the years, we get tired of doing the interviews and we, we chop the list down a little. But when y'all name come across the sheet, is always, oh, no, 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 we got to get there. When, when do they want to do it? All right, we got to go up there. We got to, you know what I mean? We When we see our name, we come running because that's just the bond that we build, and we appreciate you guys the same way. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. And I'm so glad you were able to check in today for our 20th anniversary. I know you have a brand-new record out. Yeah, I was going to curse Big Mike out. But when he like, yo, it's the 20th anniversary, Jenny, I said, oh, hell yeah. Nah, just, just send it. Just tell me. <laughs> I told you, just like I, just like the example I just finished giving you. Big Mike texted me, "Yo, Jay, when you, is the locks around?" Like I know Styles is traveling with his wife. She probably in the gym right now. Tell him I'll do it. I can't wait. So you know, is is that's every trip without a doubt. Well, thank you, Jada Kiss. And again, <laughs> a brand new records out from Jada Kiss and Flex right now called Damn Shane. I know you got past the Ox happening. I know you've also been on the set somewhere recently. So could, do you want to just talk about that really quickly? On the set of what? I don't know. On the locks IG, it said on the on set. <laughs> Are you guys working on the locks movie, maybe? We've been doing some things. I don't want to talk about it. You'll see it in the <laughs> future. Okay. All right. Cool. We got I, I, some big things in the play. We got some big things in play. Okay. Well, I am incredibly uh, excited about that. And thank you so much again. Anytime. I love you. Congratulations. Hope you get another 20. God bless you. Keep up the good work.
Thank you. Appreciate Bye, Jadakiss. All right, love.